Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! Behold! Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one! It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. Well forged. That's it. Poor Guff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just... wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in chain scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well forced and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsa, tell her. I still remember the flying keg. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chain Scrape. Rebels hold up in an outpost near... Making sparks fly out there? How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. Hey. I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chain Scrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. I have to go. It was good to see you again, Petra. And you, Flame Hair. Don't be a stranger. I had enough of the wilds. I, why not sit down for a game of strike? Yes, back to his old self.
Petra said Porgov's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. Marissa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Norme? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgif, out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock, too! Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead, then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Hm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I... make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her, all the family, so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that bug. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgov got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. I think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Source of that signal must be close. Outpost nearby. The rebel time. 
Steel Flame! Did you get the box to my sister? I did. And she told me about the incident with the keg. So she remembers. Well, I guess that's something. Thanks for letting me know. I uh, hope you told Marcia I didn't break the lock on the box. It's running oh, hi! Because I saw... Pizza? Apparently it tastes worse the longer it takes to be delivered. Or something like that. Maybe you can find the recipe? I think it was just flat bread with cheese and some sauce. I like it already. I was hoping I'd see you around. That lab nailed right. Venture Forge. Inventor of the Osro. She's a bitch. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm glad to see you out of that cell. Did you get them? I got them. The Eclipse are done. For good. You hear that? She did our job for us, again. And survived to tell the tale, which we wouldn't have. Thanks for believing me, Savior. You were telling the truth. See? At least someone around here listens to me.
Seems like that signal must be rest. close. That turn. Kill the bristle bats. Should be taller. I tried to tell huh? Porgoth this was a bad idea. No. Oh. Yes, hi. <laughs> Got something you'll want to hear, Red. I hope so. I'm not pressing on until we can use that tunnel as an escape route. 